Hello there. My name is Jim. I'm from Tangent Engineering, and we offer lathe compound sign bars. Sign bars that go on lathe compounds. In the process of finding out what our sign bars will fit, uh, we came up with an alternative and we can fit any lathe compound, no matter what the configuration is. All right, let me start here. At first, we could only do this style of compound. See it here? A rect a, you know, a rectangular compound, and we insisted that this edge, where my mouth sits, this edge, be dead parallel to the movement. After doing, after getting a lot of the inquiries, hey, I got a South Bend, hey, I got this, uh, we started doing a little more homework, and we found out, and I just drew this up by memory, let's say this is an, at, an Atlas lathe or a South Bend, all around here is casting, there's no edge to indicate and we thought that they were out of the picture, but we came up with something here, right? And I want to show you. First of all, let me show you the sign bar. I'm showing you the four inch model. You can see the shape of it, right? Here's the side view. It's got dowel pins, two dowel pins. One here, one here. They stick out and they go on the edge. They go on the edge of the compound, right? It's got three rare earth magnets, see it here in red, and the rare earth magnets. You can see where they're located. These are four jack screws. I show them fully, fully screwed in, but only if you need them anyways. If you're familiar with the, with the geometry here, let's go forward. I want to show you something. In order to get a straight edge to indicate, and it says right here, this edge must be parallel to the compound movement. This edge. This is a low carbon steel plate. I drew it up any goddamn size just to make the point. All right, let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to drop that low carbon plate on this weird configuration. See the place sitting on the top? I'm showing a side view of it. It's held in with a flathead screw that's below the surface. See, flathead screw below the, the plate surface. Right? Right here. Why below the plate surface? Because our four inch sign bar's got a fit on it, right? Let me, let me do this. See, you see them pins? They're tangent to that plate, the plate that you screwed on, that you made and screwed on to your strangely configured uh, compound. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show you how you indicate it. Uh, let's do this. Got to make is 
your carriage is locked. All you're gonna, the only thing that's gonna move here, your indicator is fixed, stationary. The only thing that's gonna move is your compound. You, you take, you take the handle here, crank it clockwise, it advances. You crank it counterclockwise, it retracts. When you do all that, this indicator has to be dead on zero. Let me do that. Just to illustrate it. See? Let's play make-believe. Make-believe that handle's turning. Your indicator is going to read dead zero all the way. Alright? Then you drop your sign bar on there and you do the normal settings like, like we showed you in the other video. Now, I'm going to go over here. There are guys that have this kind of configuration, right? Like we wanted, and let's say this edge is not parallel to the compound movement. You don't have to take the compound off grind the side to make it parallel. If you want, here's your option. You can make a plate, just like the other one, and drop it on this compound. Let's do this. Same thing as the other one. the same scenario. Flathead screw, right? Plate, T-nut. You're going to have to make a T-nut to receive that screw, right? See the screw has a, has a hex head. You screw it on there, right? And now it can rotate, right? In other words, you're going to try and make this edge where my mouse is parallel to the movement. Very important. It's got to be parallel to the movement. Once, all right, how do you do that? Let me do this. Same routine. Different compound configuration, same routine. You see what we got here? <coughs> it's time to play make-believe again. You're going to have to make believe that this hand, is, that this screw is being turned and you're indicating. Let me do this. Obviously, your indicator's got to, you got to preset your indicator and make it read zero all the way while this handle's being cranked, right? The carriage is locked. I keep saying that. Lock the carriage. The only thing that moves is this compound, right? Once you get that plate parallel to the movement, you know you're home. Let me go back now. Uh, now that you got it right, you can drop this thing, this sign bar that we make, onto that edge because you know it's right.
can see the pins are on the side of the plate that you made, and you know that this edge here is this edge where the mouse is is dead parallel to the movement of that compound. Now, now you can go through the normal settings. You know, but what we're doing is we're building uh, an edge that you can put your your you know your sign bar on. Same routine, flat head screw below the surface, T-nut under it, a little bit of tapping and indicating, then you're good to go. So what we're seeing right here is Lathe compound sign bar for any lathe compound. The caveat is you got to build the plate in the T nut if you have special circumstances, but you can still get it done. A T nut and, and the plate is not a you know it's not a big deal. All right. Okay. Let's see if this makes any sense to you. I'm I, I'm out of here. Thank you.